Hello everyone, I'm Tan the man and today I'm gonna show you guys on how to do one stroke. You know, one stroke has been a challenge for a lot of nail profession in the industry that I've met uh, along the way. So today we will be creating this look, uh, more so focused on the technique rather than the look. So I've already prepped my nail with two layers of black pool CND shellac lux. I have not removed the tacky layer or sticky layer. You will need a palette. Any type of palette will work as long as it's a flat surface and it's not absorbent. You will need CND Shellac Wildfire. And I'm gonna put roughly about two drops coming straight out of my bottle. Then I'm gonna use CND Shellac Lux Cream Puff. Same process, I would like to use two. Now blending your brush is really important when you're creating a one stroke. How I like to blend my brush is a 70-30 ratio. 30% of my brush is going to pick up the light color. 70% of my brush is going to pick up the dark color. So I'm just gonna touch and then get to lift straight up. I'm not gonna swirl around into the product. Touch and lift. Then we're gonna blend our products together. Press and lift. So in order to create this gradient, I move from down to up when I'm growing from left to right. So press to create a gradient on our brush. Now you see this side of the brush has plenty of product when this side is blended. So now we're gonna go from down and left to right. Again, loading my brush, making sure that it's saturated with product. And you can see slowly it's creating the blend and the gradient that I'm looking for. You don't want too much white and too much of one color. The stroke is going to be like a sad face. You want to press and lift the brush. Again, press and lift. Now I'm going to go into a CD lamp on the button 2S for 3 seconds. One, two just to lock the product into place. Now I'm gonna add a second layer, continuing to load my brush in between my strokes. Again, we're gonna press and lift. Press and lift. And then I'm gonna go into a lamp on the button 2S for three seconds. I'm gonna continue with our second stroke. Again, the ratio that I like is 70-30. 30% light, 70% dark. And I'm gonna press again. And lift. Again, I'm gonna press and lift off the product. That's gonna go in and lock into place under our CND lamp button 2S for three seconds. And then I'm gonna apply my second layer. Again, continuing to load in between each stroke. Again, I'm gonna press. And lift up. I'm not dragging the brush like this. I'm just gonna press and then lift up. And then I'm gonna lock it into place on the button 2S for three seconds. Once you have achieved two strokes, the next stroke is called the leaf stroke. So the leaf stroke is a little bit longer. Again, we're gonna continue to load our brush. And I like to keep my brush saturated with color. So that way my strokes are more opaque. So the least stroke, I like to connect it here. I'm gonna press, 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 lift. Okay, again, we're gonna press, 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 and lift up. Continuing to load our brush in between. And we're gonna create two more strokes on the bottom. Press, and lift. Yes. I'm gonna lock this into place on the button 2S in a CND lamp. Three seconds. And then I'm gonna apply our second layer. Continuing to load our brush, 70-30 ratio. And to rate that least stroke. Press, lift, press, and lift. I'm not dragging the brush, just press and lift. That's gonna go and lock into place 
for three seconds on the button 2S. So line work is detailing and how I like to load my brush is in a rotating. Okay. So that way my brush is like a pen, very, very fine. And then we are going to start connecting all of our strokes together. Again, we are going to press, 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 and lift up. Loading our brush in between, we're going to press, okay, press, lift. Keep in mind, loading your brush in between. That way, we do have a fine line. As you can see our composition is now coming together. Press. And press. And we're gonna put a dot here. A dot here. And dot. Now this is gonna go into our lamp on the button 2S. We're gonna do a full cure for one minute. We are going to apply the final layer is a one layer of top coat from C and D Shellac Lux. Sealing our extension edge, feed in the middle towards the extension edge, towards our critical line, rotating the nail to the right and rotating the nail to the left to ensure full coverage and repeat and refine as necessary. And then we are going to do a full cure on the button number three in our lamp. And we're going to wipe with 99% IPA. And there you have it. That is one stroke with seeing these shellac gloves.